Well, hey guys, this is Alex. I um, just uh, posted a video of uh, me SPPing this lock. It's a Rav Bayrak, um, allegedly 7 pin uh, padlock, dimple padlock. Um, it's trying to compete with uh, multi lock. I don't know exactly what, what model, but uh, you know, uh, it's supposedly by one of the inventors of the multi lock or something like that. So I thought we got it and uh, take a look at it. I think the construction overall is not too bad, but uh, I haven't poked up the cylinder yet, so see what's in there, see what the tolerances look like, and uh, yeah, just take a look. So stand by. There's just a little closer look at the, the bidding on the key. Um, there you go. I believe that this is pin seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the ma maximum uh, height. So, it does look like a real seven pin lock. Here's the lock. Um, when you open it with the key, the shackle comes out. It's a pretty big shackle. Um, I think it's about a half inch. Um, yeah. Right on a half inch or, sorry guys, 12.6 millimeters ish. Um, the, let me get the key back out. There we go. The mechanism is ball bearing on um, both sides, so not too bad. Um, that should be the locked position, but. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, that's the lock position. They don't stick out too far, but I guess enough to do the job. Um, let me get the key out. Um, so the way this disassembles, it's actually made, the design is actually pretty nice, I'd say, um, security-wise. Um, let's see if I can find the right Allen head. Um, so it has a Allen-type screw. Yeah. This is really just to keep the uh, the lock from uh, falling apart when you take the shackle out. So then this slides apart. <clears throat> so you might say, well, that's not very secure. Well, you can you can see that the <clears throat> when the shackle is in, it's holding both of these pieces together. So um, this just serves as an additional shield. So we'll set that aside. Then we have the the center bit, okay, um, with the lock core in it and the ball bearings. A lot of ball bearings, actually. Have to figure out what all three of those are for. Um, and. Yeah, and the actuator. And you can see by design, it's not going to be bypassable, obviously, because the cause it's directly attached to the um, plug. Of course, that's made out of brass, so you could argue about how secure that's going to be. Um, so that's that, and I'm going to see if I can gut this and uh, see what's going on. See what's going on inside. Here's just a little closer look at the cylinder. Looks like it has a pin there that probably keeps the plug from falling out. There's the keyway. Ooh, that's gonna make my life a lot easier. And there's the there's the rear and that little actuator. Okay. Alright. Okay, so I got at the lock, which was slightly more <clears throat> complicated than I had anticipated, but uh, here we go. Um, they could have put seven pins in here. There were enough holes in the plug. This is a detent to keep it from turning, but you can see 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. However, it was only populated with six of the seven pins. And uh, although I speculated that there were security pins in here, there are none. These are all normal pins, which is pretty disappointing. Um, the chambers are not countermilled. Um, the plug, actually checked, but pretty sure um, not countermilled. Um, <clears throat> and to give you an idea <clears throat> of the tolerances, the inner diameter of the plug is 0.5135 inches. Um, the metric will show up down here. And the um, outer diameter of the, so the inner diameter of the shell, where did I do with it? Uh, here. The inner diameter of the shell, okay, 5135. The outer diameter of the plug, 505. That's a difference of 0 0.0085 inches or 0.21 mil. Um, and that's enough for quite a floppy fit. I won't put that back in, but pretty floppy in there, and that may be why it seemed like it was false setting um, when it was just setting. So anyhow, <clears throat> um, I did discover the purpose of the three ball bearings. Um, let me see if I can get a shot of the uh, case here. So the plug, f the, uh, the cylinder fits down in here like this, right? Goes down in there. Um, so one ball bearing goes in this area there. And then the other ball bearing needs to reach out into here. You've got this area. So they put two ball bearings to accommodate the, uh, the distance there. And then this little guy spins around and actually locks it. So, um, in the previous video I had said it was a, probably a pretty good value. I mean, I think the lock is pretty strong. I think with some additional um, uh, pinning, it could be made to be reasonably secure. Um, but um, compared to what it claims to be competing with, which is multi-lock, it's, I mean, not even in the same class. I had mentioned a little difficulty in uh, disassembling this thing. So there's this little slot here and there's a pin, there was a pin, um, that goes into this slot um, that um, prevents the plug from turning more than what, you know, about 90 degrees um, and keeps it from falling out. Um, that pin is driven down through this hole um, and uh, in order to get it out, I had to actually drill that pin out. Now, that's not a big deal, because it's about the same diameter as a key pin, so I can just jam something in there, or a little piece of wire to keep it from falling apart. Uh, although I don't know if I'm gonna even bother. Security-wise, um, pretty much junk. Um, and despite the fact that the shackle, which has disappeared, is um, quite heavy, quite thick, um, can't find the shackle and it has fairly uh, deep cuts in it. Um, the ball bearings don't extend very far into it and so I have questions as to whether it would um, it would really be all that secure against uh, significant pulling or um, that type of attack. Anyhow, so that's it. The Roy Barak um, Israeli padlock. Um, don't know where it's actually made. It doesn't have any other maker's marks on it, unless it says something in Hebrew that I can't read. Um, but uh, it does have a phone number on it. You can call 1-800-800-100, which is not a legal phone number. Maybe that's the bidding code. Um, now here's the shackle. So the balls fit in maybe halfway. They don't extend out very far. So, I mean, they didn't even take full advantage of the, uh, the uh, amount of security they had here. And they could have made these a little deeper. So, you know, I think if you took this, this body and put a better block in it, you might have something decent. But um, 
yeah. So, anyway, um, there we go. Roy Barak, uh, multi-lock, knockoff, not done very well, um, gutted. So, anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. This is Alex, and as always, have fun, and keep it legal. Cheers.